hey world and welcome to this affinity publisher tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a really simple minimalistic print ready sort of template the point is is that i'm going to show you how to do it on a master page and we're going to work in our next tutorial i'll create another master page and we'll make them into smart master pages so we can just drag and drop onto our um, onto our template so we can change them around show them to clients so what i'm going to do i've just got two a4 pages set up um, as my master just facing pages so the first thing I'm going to want to do I'm going to create three um, rectangle placeholders picture placeholders on my on my right hand side page and I do this I can obviously use the toolbar just coincidentally when I see affinity tutorials nobody ever has the text on their icons up here if you want that I just find it much easier just go to view customize toolbar and then the bottom here I've Icon only, which is what most people have it. It means they're pros, they don't need the text or icon and text. I just find that I use a lot of um, a lot of applications, so I just find it easier just to have those quick reminders underneath preview mode and, and things like that. Oh, so yes. um, I can either go over here and select the placeholders, image placeholders, or I can press F on my keyboard and you notice it highlights this here, if I press F again, it will change it to the ellipse placeholder or picture placeholder, but I want the rectangle one, and I'm just gonna draw out a nice rectangle shape um, or placeholder of about this size. Once I've dragged that out, quick tip is press escape twice, and then V, and it gets you back to your move tool. Select the frame again, press option, command, and, um, and drag, not option, command, just option and drag and you can drag another one out and then do the same again and we can drag another one out so just going to put it at the very bottom of the margins like this and it keeps me um, go to the center one and just snap them all into place like so and i think that is there or thereabouts if i drag that out it'll just be exactly so they're all in line yeah, I'm happy with that. So now I'm going to go to my left hand side of my page and I'm going to drag out a some frame text. And again, likewise, you can press the T and it will give you the art text. Press T again and it will take you to the frame text. OK, so this is just a quick way, um, a quicker way of just using the um, the toolbar as opposed to going to the left hand side and clicking. I'm going to just drag it up a little bit, make it a little bit longer and then right click inside and insert filler text. With this filler text, I'm then gonna, gonna command A, so it selects all of the filler text. I'm gonna go to my um, fonts of the top right hand side, go to favorites and go to code light. And I'm gonna fill this with code light. I'm then going to align this text up here and center align it, or you could justify it, which is probably a little bit neater, a little bit nicer and sits better with a minimalistic type of feel then i'm gonna go to my rectangle tool and again you just press s m and toggle through the tools select my rectangle tool up here and make it the same width as my text frame below but with this i'm going to remove the fill so i'll go to the top toolbar fill and select this little button here to um to remove the fill, but the stroke, I want the stroke to be a dark stroke. Um, 1.5 is probably a bit a bit too wide for minimalistic. I want it 0 0.5, which is sits quite nice. Go back to my move tool, select this, and then I'm gonna put some text in here. Let's just call it, you could just put a name because it was master, you could just put any name, so you can use it for various. Um, so I just put the 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 brand up here, the brand name. And then select the brand name. I'm going to change the font again, this time to code bold. And then resize that brand name. Just drag it in here. You don't necessarily have to do this for master, but I would. And then just to finish this off quite nicely, I think I'm going to put a rectangle. Um, a rectangle strip just down this bottom, this left hand side here. But with this rectangle strip, I'm going to fill that with black 
and I'm going to turn the stroke off. So now if we look at our preview, it doesn't really look like much. Just deselect that. It doesn't look like much, but it definitely looks minimalistic. Yeah. And then, you know, you could put, I don't know, the the tagline. Let's have a let's let's have a tagline along the top. Go back to preview mode just for just for the sake of this. And then let's have the um the the tagline. The company tagline, if it was in code light. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Just just down to you, per personal preference, or it would be customer preference, I suppose, in this instance. If it was me, I think this would be this would be smaller. And this is what it would look like. So they'd have the tagline there, yeah? So now we've created our master page. So now what we're going to do is apply that and stick some images in it. So I'm going to um, add a page to my pages tab at the bottom. Number of pages, two. Um, insert before or after. I don't, I don't care. Master pages. I'm not going to... I can select the master page here if I wanted to, and that would apply the template. But because we're going to... Our next tutorial is going to be smart pages. I want to show you the drag and drop sort of um, method of using that. So we've got our pages here now. So what we do is we select our master page and drag it into the center of our pages that we want to apply to. If I dragged it to the left hand side here, you will see it just applies the left hand portion. And then I would need to drag the right hand portion to do that. I'm just going to press command Z just to remove that. But if I wanted to apply it all, just drag it to the center and it will apply it all for you. We're still in preview mode. What I'm now gonna do is I'm gonna add some images to this right-hand side just to show you um, what it would look like. Let's have a look for um, watches maybe. Need to be able to spell first. So watches with this sort of brown or black feel i suppose yeah if we had a black background would look or would feel sort of quite nice what's quite nice with unsplash is on the top right hand side here we get the um the people's images that we that we're using so if you want to shout them out and it is always a good 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 thing to do that so um you can do that you can see it on the screen the images that I'm using. So we're just going to use darkened images for all of this because it sits nicely with our um, our our text and our left hand side. And all I'm doing is dragging and dropping here and where I get the little plus button, I'm just clicking the insert. So here, little plus pops up. Um, just click, click again and click insert. So now we've got our images in there. If we go to back to our pages and we just select our preview mode now select off that you'll see that our minimalistic sort of professional um, presentation piece or leaflet whatever it is booklet insert of a booklet whatever it's going to be is looking really really smart and really really nice and you could sort of follow this theme through hey, but what so what i'm going to do the next tutorial i'm going to stick another master page there but change the layout of the images and stuff and i'm going to show you how to set it up so you can use smart master pages so you just drag and drop and it replaces the images or relays out the images according to the master page that's applied to it so i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial i hope you like this design as well um, feel free to use it wherever you want have a um, have a great day wherever you are take care catch you all soon Bye.